of my studio. Um, I get quite a few requests for people that ask me about um, my studio and what it looks like and I must admit that when I do look at other people's studios I am quite envious. Um, it's not a craft room, it is a working studio where I do illustration and exhibition work, fine art work, plus my YouTube channel and um, lots of different exhibition work. <clears throat> so it's a very much, as I said to my friend Ali on Ali Dingleditation, oh I can't say it, as I said, sorry about that, it cut out, as I said when I talked to my friend Ali of Dingley, I can't remember but I'll put the link below. Um, it's not focusing. Okay, she asked to see my um, studio because it's, she said, it's, it's my work is full of imagination and um, creativity and she'd like to see the hub. Well, to be perfectly honest, the actual hub of the creativity is my brain and um, I can't really show you that. <laughs> But, so this is where the ideas come to land in my studio. Hello, Mr. Whale. This is um, the whale that inspired me to do my piece on the last song. Um, so, let's have a tour. As many of you may know, I am a Buddhist, so I do keep my lot of the... Um, scarves I collect on my room and this is what I call my art and dash hangers on my um, studio door because there's different bags in there and there's my cycling jackets in there because I do a lot of cycling that people might not know about and my little stepdaughter's apron which we grab and one of my aprons and my partner goes absolutely mad because he says his room could be so much more organized but uh, to me it's organized so along the top we just have spray paint which I use and butterflies for mixed media lots of different spray cans pens artwork. There is an artwork here from my friend Beverly Anderson. What we tend to do as artists, we do tend to exchange and we were in a workshop together at the Experimental Drawing Hub and she drew it and it, I loved it and uh, we exchanged. Uh, this is another piece that's gone off. Uh, it's just a small piece I did and now the original piece, they're called thumbnails, is gone off to residents. Um, these I love because these are what I did with my little daughter Brina and we watched a fantastic film about Day of the Dead and we did a step-by-step -step process together and again there's scissors, paints that I can't get very often, markers, artwork from people. The computer here is obsolete Where's my finger gone? <laughs> is obsolete, so it will be coming down because I no longer need it. So that takes up a fair bit of space. So that will be going. Um, this is my very precious idea book. And these are on the shelf because the little people that come here to play in the studio because it's very much a... Um, studio for everybody that's their paints that they know they can play with those and again there's more different types of pens I don't tend to my craft paints loads and loads and loads of different types of pencils water pencils um, drawing pencils water brush pencils fine liners are all in in that side there 
you to show you. Sorry if you feel a little bit sick. I'm not used to doing this. And my lights, which are all little birds that change colour because I love my lights. And again, just technical stuff um, that I use to mix paints. Um, you know, uh, things like uh, watercolour ground, so you can use watercolours on top of acrylics. There's some of my inks, loads and loads of tape because obviously I pack stuff up. Glue, again, this is like flow enhancer and that little area there. Loads of candles and joysticks because I very much like being in the flow of the moment. As you can see, um, my desk is really, really, really scruffy because I don't really have time to clean it. This is my Tibetan rock crystal and a collection of pencils. Underneath the desk, it's just loads and loads of different cards. These are my lights, the big lights that I'm going to put in my outside studio and paper that I use for classes because I do actually teach physical classes as well. And obviously you had to have glitter because little people come. Another candle and in lots of little pots we have like ink and a small tubers of acrylic and watercolour and this great big creative mess here believe it or not is not just uh, paper it's also stamps and stencils but I just tend to pull it all out as I need it and just shove it back in the corner because I don't really have a lot of time to um, designate to tidying up because I'm, just, I'm on there and I'm always doing some kind of art. My brayers and ink pads are all in there. And obviously again, my gessos and various paints. These are all acrylic paints. And these are, what I, are my household paints I collect because they are so, so good for what I do. I don't know if you can see that because of the light. The window's in the way. Let's have a look, see if it'll focus. Maybe it will, maybe it won't. Yeah. Anybody gets a chance to get these, do. You can get them in a variety of colours. And they're so, so cheap. There again, more candles and my lights. Now, this desk over here, if I stand back, I show you. This is like my editing and exhibition desk, which I don't film. And this one here has got my candle, um, candle, sorry. I've just had that awful Australian flu and I'm still not exactly functional. This is my camera setup on the ceiling. Um, not my idea, I stole it from another YouTuber and that's where all the filming takes place along here. On my back shelf, these are just little bits that I find inspiring. The little jar there is a grateful jar where you write down beginning of the year all the things you're grateful for and at the end of the year, hello fishy, you look through and see what you are grateful for. My little Buddha, keep reminding me to stay in the moment. And some of these, like the elephants or projects that I've done at school. One of my hairs. And obviously, again, another Buddha to keep my room nice and peaceful. And uh, I collect, let's see if you have focus, I collect loads and loads and loads of feathers. and artwork from other people and Terry, he's one of my favourite pieces I've done because um, I've got a handbag called Terry and he's a T-Rex um, and then another messy corner this is stuff that I don't need immediately like watercolour pads packing stuff these here now, if you ever do polytile printing those are pizza 
the polystyrene from pizzas. I don't eat a lot of pizzas, it doesn't <laughs> accumulate over months, but they are very, very good for poly printing. These are all my sketchbooks that are filled or not filled, or books I find this way. I always get them mostly from charity shops. So, and obviously, a few obsolete cameras now. I've got some cameras. Again, this is all big pieces of scrap paper that I can get my hands on when I need them, and books. Again, more sketchbooks for more of my fine art stuff that I do. And also, I love these books. Um, these books. They are for doing digital artwork. They are really good. So if you ever get your hands on them, I get. I used to get mine from Tesco's. I think Tesco's probably still sell them. Again, I have more books, but at the moment they're all in my bedroom to help me when I actually physically teach. My iMac, iBook, and currently I am teaching Lino Print in a workshop where I live and obviously these are little fishes in my sketchbook. I think the next one I'll be doing will probably be the little prints in my book that I'll show you. Rubbers, try and keep as many rubbers and pencil sharpeners near me as I can. I tend to lose them on a regular basis and obviously my faithful dragon because every artist this inspirational dragon. Now the next thing I'm going to show you will be Shock Horror. It is my paper collection. Most people have the paper collections in nice neat piles. I don't. I am just like a little ferret. I go in there and ferret for everything and again underneath here is light boxes and lots of books that I use for inspiration and paints that I take away on when I teach children um, they're all the poster paints and acrylic paints that I use for them so it's a bit of a mess down there my doorstop is having a break, break from the door because I thought it would be a good idea to hoover um, I don't think many of you would know but I actually am a fully trained ceramicist one of my degrees is in design and in ceramics as well. And this is a fantastic pot that I got gifted from the young girl that was next to me in my year one. And she made these fantastic pots and at the end of her year, when she left, she gifted me one of the pots. This is my lights. They're just normal, normal lights. And one of my easels uh, that I use, this is a big easel um, that I use for really big work. And I collect odysseys. I, I really like little monsters and things. And um, I have a little shy bear that lives there in the wood. And then I have like a Godzilla. And my friend Carol Humphreys made me this beautiful ballet dancer. She's not, she's a, she rides a circus horse. Here he is. And they are my flights to fantasy. And an elephant, I love elephants. I don't know where some of these things come from. I just find them in charity shops, whether they're, um, it's not going to focus, focus. I want you to say hello. No, he's not going to focus. I have a werewolf. That's not going to focus either. I don't know why he won't focus. A werewolf and another ugly little monster. And I think coming down here, he's from Lord of the Rings. I'm not 100% sure. And I love these types of sweets. I love, I don't know if anybody else gets these sweets, but I love collecting those little sweets. Um, this is my inspiration chair. 
and as you can see some of these are my models I take with me and these are canvases that have been waiting to be worked on this is a picture from a friend of mine when I did my access course and I love it it stays in my studio to remind me that the person who painted this um, had three strokes they were in the army and they had three strokes within the army and this picture reminds me that no matter what difficulties you've got or what handicaps you've got you can create fantastic art this is um, works in progress um, that I just pin up my ink October birds all on there so when I find something I really like or I'm interested in pursuing further then obviously they go on my back wall hello doggy and I've just acquired this thank goodness it's a um, a it's a um, a o um, size drawing board. Not quite sure if you say that. Like you have A3 paper, and that this is a o drawing board. It's adjustable. It can go flat. Um, I acquired it just um, after Christmas, so it's a godsend because I'll be able to put my tripods up and um, film doing bigger stuff. Be a lot easier to film. Printers, tablets, and um, cameras. So, this is my room. <coughs> I'm just trying to sit down. This is my room. I'm now sitting on the chair. Hang on, I'm just going to get up a little bit higher. And... This is the room in its entirety. Oops, <laughs> Teddy's fell off. Sorry about the glare. If it's not focusing very well, it's because it's quite sunny out. And like I say, this is my very, very motherly room, but it is very loved. Here's a mad dash bag again, and the books. And all the mess and my chair and my camera. And I have a lovely view out the window actually. I have shown it before. You can see it is all trees outside my window. And that, folks, is my studio. So I hope you enjoyed the tour. And I don't know if you found it inspirational at all. But um, can I just say, no matter what anyone says about your studio, um, whether they say it's messy or tidy or inspirational or whatever, can I just say, it is your space. It's your sanctuary. It's the moment that you're in the flow. Don't be worried about what it's like. Don't be worried about if it's messy. Some of us are organised. Some of us are so dysfunctional, it's unreal. But we're all in the moment and we're all creating. And that's really all that really matters at the end of the day. It's an extension of your inner self. And like I say, mine's not tidy. It's not functional to the best that it can be. But when I come in my room, I see my friends and artwork that my friends do. And I put my little people that I find inspirational, like I am a Keith Richards fan to death. Keith, if you ever get to watch my videos, there you are, Chuck. And John Lennon. A master of words and so just enjoy your space whether it's the kitchen table whether it's the um, spare bedroom like mine is 
you know, just just enjoy your space. It's your space to create and be you. It's probably one of the only times you will ever get to be you because when you're in the flow, you can't help but be authentic. And these spaces, like mine, the kitchen table, the lounge floor, which was my studio for a long time was the lounge floor and uh, I'm very, I feel very grateful to have this space. It's somewhere I can just come in and relax and I don't have to be anybody, I don't have to be anybody's mum for 10 minutes, anybody's wife for 10 minutes or so. It's just me in my space. So, go and find yourself a corner and put your name on it and have that space. And don't look at it longingly. Oh, like, I can't afford the time today. You can. Even if it's just a tray on your lap while you're watching telly. Okay, so from... Me and the whale, take care, much love, and see you creating soon. Bye-bye.